What's up everybody? Just gonna talk about some things in the market today. It's like 11.30 in the afternoon, um, Eastern Standard Time, uh, April 14th. Energy is popping off. We have SM Energy up 13%. Crude is up 4.5%. So it's, uh, I think it, this is the last, here's the thing, like right, this could probably go back to here and retest the trend line, but you know, we have one, two, three, big, like this is monthly candle time frames taking place. I think it bounces up from here. I uh, just, then you look at the technicals, that's what it kind of looks like. So kind of debating if I wanted to just add whatever energy I kind of wanted, but I think I'm all set. Um, Cause yeah, look at this, we have the big candles up, kind of breaking out. Last month we had that huge volume, not huge, but relatively bigger volume spike candle down. Now we're bouncing off of it, so first time that's happened, you know, actually the entire time basically. Yeah. So yeah, I think it goes up from here. I doubt we're get crude at 150, but like 100 bucks crude. Got Biden doing all this stuff. Yeah, I think it's looking pretty good for oil. Um, man, I'm just thinking, you know, probably just if I had to do anything, I'd probably just buy Exxon again. But I'm already pretty well positioned at a. SM Energy is the one that I kind of wanted, but uh, yeah, I'll see what happens. I'm still positioned. I don't need to rush into anything, but I think this will be maybe the last month where you're going to get oil at around this price, or probably the last time. I don't see it going back below here. I mean, it still does have this like $60 kind of price. It's pretty significant for many companies. They need the $60 crude. So it definitely has to break above this and probably bounce back and retest it. But um, if it does shoot past this zone, that's very, very bullish. I think all of the, um, not all of the, but actually a lot of resource companies today Actually, where's my natural resource? Yeah, hold on. Yeah, they're all up like 7%, 6% HP. RRC is up a lot, 9%. Just, yeah, uranium's also up about a percent today. Still bullish. Actually, yeah, CCJ is back on this trend line. Also coinciding with the with some price level. Yeah, sorry. I, I'm just gonna talk a little bit a bit about everything today. Kind of just kind of not talk about anything specific, but um, I guess that's what we always do, right? Do I add to this? I don't know. I'm very unhappy with the Roku. Not Roku. Rocket Mortgage, debating just selling it. I think I'm at a, like a 10% loss right now. I mean, like I'm kind of just literally betting on the fact that it's going to spike up for whatever reason, um, which it probably won't. But there was, there is our reasons why I thought it would. But yeah, it didn't happen. So I think I should just cut the loss, take the 10% and move on. And I think the next play we are looking at, uh, really looking at Simon property because of the volatility. But we will see. I guess we could just go down the list too really quick. I know Disney's up like 2%. I mean, we still have a lot of hours left in the trading day, but hey, it's good to see. Let's just head down the list with Bitcoin. Oh, wow, Bitcoin today actually hit 6,500. Wow. Cool. Got gold, you know, not doing too much. Just in the range, silver in the range. Apple did bounce nicely. I'm still 
would rather play SPG over Apple, AG, AMD, and iRobot both were the plays we were, or I was going to take, I ended up only taking iRobot, but again, like, they just faded, so I'm, like, I'm happy I got out with my small win, but interesting, it faded rather quick, I guess same thing with AMD too. stops moving. Interesting. Big spike today, about 8, 19%. What zone is this? This is pretty significant. 150 about. I'm still watching some of the penny stocks that they mentioned, or some people mentioned in the group chat. I just, I don't know, I'd, if I threw money at this, it would kind of, I would just be open, it would go up, but maybe that's what, what sometimes what you need, you know. Still watching MO, not in the zone we wanted at. Uh, Min Neo, really looking like it's gonna break again. Mm. Yeah. See what happens next week with that. Oh, Dave and Buster's hits a little support area, bounces up 3.5% today. Okay. I don't really want it at that zone. Let's check the monthly candles, though. I mean, like, honestly, it's not like that. We're looking at monthly candles, so it's not that bad at this zone. Actually, not that bad of a play, in my opinion. I'd rather, I'd much feel better buying it at this price, though. 37. As opposed to 43. still has a lot. Let's say it does. I'll be patient. I don't need to rush. I'm not really in the brisk mood right now. Space. Uh, Smith & Wesson still want it down here. I feel like I always talk about very similar things, but that's because, you know, just be patient. Keep watching. See how things play out. And then you time the, the entries nicely. So, I guess that's the type of trading that I Yeah, I think Simon Property. Um, if I were to sell Roku, like right now, uh, Roku, Rocket Mortgage, I keep saying that, I'd probably just put half of it into Simon Property, but uh, right now we're in the middle. It's, I'd maybe add half a position, maybe a quarter, but I would want it definitely down here. Yesterday I wasn't really at the computer. It did like have that nice little wick. Would've been nice to buy right around there, but I mean, that's also hindsight, but when you see a drop, I don't know, that dropped a lot yesterday, like 3%, almost. That's actually a really volatile day right here. What happened here? That f March 5th, what happened March 5th? Oh, this is, okay. Spy is... It, uh, it is probably going to go to 420 and just stop. You got to hit that 420 mark. Interesting level, actually. Here. We're basically retouching the all time high. Kind of coming back to retest it. I wouldn't really say coming back to retest it, just retesting it in general. This actually might be a good time to sell some things. If SPY is up to here, you know, and QQQ is also pretty extended, it might get a little pull back, or it could just keep going, you know, but, um, well, what would this pull back be? 3%, that's, I mean, for SPY, that's actually pretty large, but, my like concerns I should just sell Roku but then a uh, rocket mortgage but if I sell it then it's probably gonna have some stupid big spike and that's why I'm in it maybe they'll announce like a dividend or something let's check the results if we go back to I guess
this. to see when they announced the dividend. Because if we know when they announced it, maybe, I mean, that means we still gotta wait like a month. It's actually a month for them to report again. That's it, right, they report. They're reporting end of February and then beginning of May. That's like three months, I guess yeah, three months, but that seems a lot shorter. still have, did I add a KL the other day? I think I did, I don't really remember. I'm pretty sure I added, like, literally on this day, because I was like, oh, it's kind of, that was a big pop, so. Just added some shares. I still, I like it a lot in this zone. No, I don't like it a lot in this zone, sorry. I like it a lot right here. <laughs> Not right here, but. Of course, like, I guess I can get rid of this. Because now we're definitely in the clear. I was taking a look at 3M. Like, I knew it was going to have this. Not I knew, but I was obviously bought the stock, anticipating it would break out of this channel eventually. It's doing pretty well. Um, we're up, like, 25%, so pretty spicy. I feel like there's so many things I sold that I just wish I hung on to. Oh, this high tide is kind of collapsing, not collapsing, but yeah, it's fallen a lot. It goes back to 50 cents. I'll pick it up. This is OTC, though. I know in the Canadian market, it's it, it's like higher. I don't know exactly why it's higher, but it, it, it is. I mean, I guess it's the same valuation just based on how many shares they're selling on the market. So, yeah, let's see. I know. Is it AA? steel companies are also doing quite well too actually really well uh, and x us steel is doing good too wait that's a really interesting trading range too and i'd already highlighted this but that's when i first started like trading this summer because i used all those red ones because i didn't know how to um change the color. I mean, I didn't know you could change the color, I guess is what I meant to say. Man. This would be good play. This is like a good, like, month, not month, sorry. Like a year-long play. You just get in, let it ride. Assuming, like, it doesn't, like, like, weird, just random things, like the virus doesn't happen again, you know? But yeah, that's pretty spicy. I'm kind of just admiring that perfect pattern. <laughs> uh, actually, it's Airbnb. Yeah, Airbnb kind of is interesting. Like this, these candle wicks and this trend line. It's kind of looking, um, kind of looking a little weak. Or no, it's looking strong at the support, but weak on the what is it? The resistance area. They're down like 15-20%. What's DoorDash doing actually? Not doing a whole lot to be honest. I mean they are they got like bid up so high right before the earnings even got released, so or right before the IPO got released. Sacks up almost five percent. What happened? The CEO expects um, oh, what's happening? Oh, they let it have earnings on them. Eighteen dollars a share. Wait, that's wild. What the heck? Is that right? Is that right? Estimate was nine dollars. They earned eighteen. What's happening here? Well, I like J.P. Morgan. They they probably reported as well. Four dollars a share. I mean, regardless.
because they still did much better than analysts expected. Eighteen dollars a share. That's crazy. What? Ah, uh, what about that? Fire. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Have a good night, everybody. I'll see you.